Hey, hello everyone. It is good morning here from Australia. Welcome. Now, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. So if you are watching this live, say hello. Tell us where you're tuning in from or just put hashtag live. If you are watching this on a replay, just put hashtag replay. But thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching this video too as well. So my name is Nysa Dermot. I am a success mindset and abundance coach and mentor. So today, I wanted to come on here and to share with you a greatest secret of success. Now, some of you are probably already using this, but this was a secret which has made fortunes for more than 500 wealthy people in America in the 20th century, based on a study that was done by um, a famous man. Now, it was put to the test, and this magic formula gave the richest man in the world in the 1800s fortune and it was passed down to, to others over the years. Now my mentor, Bob Proctor, who has passed now, who has gone now, God bless him, now he used it and he became very successful. And I used it too as well and I went from a scam victim to joy and abundance. You know, a scamming ordeal that left me flat broke with nothing. You know, just a six-figure debt a um, few years ago now. So this secret, you can apply it to your life, to any goal that, or any aspect of your life that you want to improve. When you understand it and put it to the test, you know, results will show up. You know, when you get it, when you get this secret and you're ready for it, you will be successful. But here's the problem. Here's the thing. People get so discouraged when results are not showing up, when results are not there, you know, when difficulties are, are showing up in their lives or maybe they have failed multiple times and they feel that their, their souls have been taken out of them. Or maybe they, they want things for nothing and you know, they don't want to put an effort in. And some of these people too as well, they don't trust themselves you know, enough you know, to achieve what it is that they want to achieve. So they lose hope. And some people, they quit halfway through. Have you ever quit from getting something, you know, at one time? Are you guilty of this? Because I am. You know, if you are watching this live, let me know. You know, did you ever quit halfway through when you're trying to achieve something? Would that be you? Let me know in the comment on there because I am positive that most people are guilty of this. And when you give in to these problems, um, you know, you haven't really got this secret. You know, you don't understand it. So this secret, you cannot have it without a price. You know, there is no such thing as something for nothing. There is always a, a price to pay, you know, but the price you will pay it's nowhere near what the value that you will get from this secret if you really get it and if you're ready for it. It will serve you well when you're ready for it. You know, um, skills and education have nothing to do with it. And you can have anything you want if you're ready for it, if you understand it and if you apply it to your life. So who understands what I'm saying here? Who, who gets what I'm saying? Tell me if you... If you're if you're getting this because so many of us we try and try and try and then we give up when it, when we are three feet from from gold have you ever heard of that story now I don't know whether you heard of that story but you know the story is about three feet from gold you know during the the gold rush days there was a man who caught up with the gold fever and and all he wanted was gold so he went west to dig and dig and dig for gold he went to work the going was hard after a few weeks he found some shining ore so he, he got some money together from from people and from relatives and he bought a machine and went back to work and so they drill and drill and drill and finally they the shining ore disappeared they couldn't see it anymore so they finally gave up and quit and then they sold the machine to another man and that man went and got an engineer to look at the mine and do some calculations and the goal was three feet away from where they were from where the first man was was mining so the second man took millions of dollars in ore 
from that mind because he never gave up and he had the secret that I'm going to share with you. And the first man found out about it. Of course, he was devastated, you know, and the huge fortune that he lost, he could have made. But what he found was when he found out the secret and then he put it to work in selling insurances and he became one of the, the best insurance salesperson, you know, at that time. So I guess I better let you in on this secret then. So the secret to any achievement or success is the shifting of your want or goal to a desire. And then more importantly, turning it into a burning desire. Yes, that is the secret. It is shifting of your goal, whatever it is that you want, to a desire. And then turning it into a burning desire. Now, desire is the unexpressed possibility seeking expressions with and through you. Desire is not hope. It is not wish. It is that pulsating force through you that transcended everything else. It is definite. And you must turn that want into a desire for you to achieve anything that you want. You've got to want it so badly that your life depends on it. You know, you place all of your energy, all of your willpower, your faculties, mental faculties that we all have, the effort that you're going to put in everything on that goal. And you maintain that state of mind, knowing as a burning desire to win and to succeed. And you will. You will win. You will succeed. So I'm going to give you some tips for you to let you know that your want or your goal has become a desire. How do I know if my want has become a desire? So these are a few tips that I'm going to share with you to tell you to let you know that your want has now become a desire. So I hope you got a pen and paper if you are watching this live or if you're watching this on the replay too as well. You know, put in the comments watching that you're watching the replay, hashtag replay, and get a piece of paper. So, here's, here there are some tips I want to share with you. Number one, so the question is, how do you know if your want has become a desire? The first one, your physical results that you desire, they begin to manifest themselves. Now, it is very important that we must understand that most time we, we want something, you know, um, we always look for, for that big manifestation or that big change or that big breakthrough. But we must understand that even for a smallest change, even for a smallest sign of attraction, that should be enough for you to encourage you that you're on the right path. So look for that. Number two, you see the world through a prism of your desire. See, we begin to focus on that what it is that we want and as you hold this desire in your awareness you begin to see opportunities you begin to relate experiences to your desire and that's huge number three you're not affected by outside circumstances now you might find you know that that small thing that used to upset you in the past you have no longer you know made that um, an important important thing in your life you know, it's no longer an impact on your life anymore. They are not important to you. You start to see that. And then number four, you started to attract like-minded people. See, what you begin, what begins to happen is that some people in our lives, maybe our relatives, maybe friends, you begin to see the, the difference between yourself and them. You know, your level of awareness has increased. And that you might find yourself, you no longer in harmony with the way they think, with the way they do things. That's a sign that you are now turning this want into a desire. Number five, you are awakened and your view of the world changes. You view, your view of the world has, has changed. Things that you hear, things that you see on the news or maybe things that you read in the paper or you hear from people are less important to you now. And that is due to your own level of awareness has changed. Number six, your intuitive factor starts to grow. You're starting to develop your sixth sense. 
you know you begin to have that ability to to hear the voices inside of you and you become aware of how you're feeling and what's going on you know inside you know other people you begin to pick up that energy number seven you easily give up things that are not in harmony with your purpose and this is one of the most powerful things that you will begin to happen you know to you it will begin to happen to you you started to make decisions easier and you begin to notice things whether things that are doing are in harmony with your purpose or not you will start to do things so much efficiently with your time and that will help you move you closer to your goal number eight you move from a competitive to a creative mindset and this is very powerful you know for us financially we started to realize that opportunities everywhere and that we don't have to worry about competing you know we don't have to worry about competition or our piece of the pie you know there is plenty out there for us that understanding is huge so now we're starting to operate from a creative mindset you know and using our faculties to create what it is that we want and Bob Proctor used to say from abundance we took abundance and still abundance remain there is still so much out there there is abundance surrounding us and we're starting to see that and this is what you need now to move that desire into a burning desire so how do you know if your desire has shifted to a burning desire and this is so important because when your desire has moved into a burning desire things are starting to happen for you and this is so important you know number one you want it to, to study and learn more about yourself learn about the truth and you start to notice that you have changed yourself and that's huge hi Shelly thank you for watching this thank you and then number two you become aware of your oneness with source and whatever that source is that resonates with with you whether it's God whether it's universal intelligence on there but you're starting now to become aware that there is something bigger there is a something bigger within you that all that what you want is within you and once you're now fused with your goal fused with the source which is the you know where the supply comes from everything starts to change for you so now you're shifting your desire to a burning desire so there you have it ladies turn your want to a desire and then all that time consuming obsession so, so from desire turning into a burning desire and watch the change within you watch things just starting to unfold for you in terms of gaining what it is that you want so before I finish up just want to let you know that I'm offering a free session for anyone here who would like to learn more about themselves wanted to connect to source to what is within them to create the life that they want easily if you want to clarify your goal if you want to fast track it too as well and turn that into a desire I am more than happy to have a chat with you it is for free so book a call with me I'll put the link in the comment below but thank you for watching this and hope that you enjoy this video too as well so keep it simple and be deliberate bye for now